You've got a carpet of brews that you don't know what to do What to mix with what, what to put in where There's no need to fret because there's someone here to help you He's not just a man, he's an idiot too The cocktail idiot, yes it's the cocktail idiot It's cocktail time with your host, me, John T, the cocktail idiot, and Georgie, the cocktail lady. I like that one. The cocktail lady. Okay, yeah. we'll use that until someone comes up with a better idea. Okay. Right, so in this video you are going to learn how to make a Bermuda 100. Taught by me though, so you're not going to learn much, but you'll learn how not to make it. Um, so, Bermuda 100, disappointingly, I don't have much history on it. It's one of those cocktails that's probably been created by someone in a bar somewhere. Oh, how sad. And then been found by someone. Well, we don't need to speculate. We could just no. go on with drinking. But what I can tell you is an American bartender, which I can't remember his name, uh, I'll put it in the in the description below, as the YouTubers say. <laughs> um, it is a love child between a Mai Tai and a Negroni. We have done a Mai Tai video, and you can watch it there. Yeah, I question right. because I don't know if it's Aim there or not. the Jack Daniels thing. There? Well, low Over way, there. Can we, oh, we don't have fix with that. with your silly finger? Oh, God. <laughs> right, anyway, carry on. Carry on. <laughs> so you've, you've thrown me off my, <laughs> my trend. Um, so obviously the, the Mai Tai is your um, pineapple and orge, and then the Negroni is your gin and Campari. Mm -hmm. So that's the combination, but I think it's more like a variation on the Jungle Bird, which is uh, rum instead of gin and super syrup instead of orge okay. okay, syrup. Well, right. never mind. What were you going to say? Well, I was simply going to say, why don't we know the ingredients for this one? That's what I was going to do. Oh, God, yeah. Just going to do it. Go on then. Ready? Yeah. You are going to need gin, Campari, orge syrup, pineapple juice and some fresh lime. Okay. Let's roll. So, you are going to start with the fun measurement of four to five mil, <laughs> which really annoys George. But it's because we do it in mil, not ounces. Well, why don't we get American utensils and then we can have nice rounded up numbers? You can. You can work out the uh, the ratios of them all. Okay. But I think forty five mil is one and a half ounces, okay. which is a nice round number. Campari, you're going to need 22.5. That's a silly measurement. And then your pineapple juice, 45 ml, so one and a half ounces. In that goes. What haven't I done? I haven't done that, have I? No. 15 ml of this. You see, this is all so small. It's not a big drink. Okay. So 15 ml. That made an odd sound. In the tinny. Syrupy. <laughs> Sticky syrupy. And then your fresh lime. Don't forget to give your lime a roll. I'll say rolling, why. rolling, rolling. So it releases the juice? Yeah, it gets the, the juice. Flesh. Gets the juices flowing. As with all good rolling. Nothing's weirder now that you've said it like that. Right. And then 15 ml of lime. And an extra dash for me. I like that. Oh. Stop all the scurvy. Oh yeah. One of your five a day. That's it. Now all you need is ass. With your hands. <laughs> Does it make you laugh or Hey. Laugh and I'll drop the camera. <laughs> and then, smile and shake. That'll do. Look at that, nice and chilled. Yeah.
See how you've done on the pineapple frothing. Oh yeah, should get a bit of bit of pineapple froth, bit of ice. I should use a scoop really. Where's my scoop? Oh no. I think you only use a scoop because it reminds you of pick and mixes in the yeah. supermarket. Oh, That's right. far too much ice. I love a good pick and mix. Okay. Better? Yeah. Single strain. G on the glass is for what, darling? Uh, G stands for... It should be the first word. Great drink. Right, what does it sound for? <laughs> Just leave you in suspense. It's so annoying. Why can't you say something more nice? It sounds so gorgy. Yes. No. <laughs> Right, so you can garnish this with many things. I've gone for the classic tacky cherry and orange, although you could do maybe some lime or pineapple, which would probably make more sense, or like pineapple leaf <laughs> pineapple and make it look really tiki. It's a bit of a, um, a bitter tiki drink, this, because you've got gin, which isn't a traditional tiki okay, option. Then. But there we go, one Bermuda 100. Enjoy. Enjoy. Chin chin. Chin chin. Could get the side without the uh, five a day option in. Mm -hmm. Oh, that is a that is a blend between a mai tai and a negroni. If you don't know what to have, put the two together, and you get that. Right. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment. If bell. you like the drink. Like it. If you don't like the drink, comment it. It's disgusting. Oh yeah, you can comment. Your review's on the bottom. Yeah. Everyone's entitled to their opinion of a drink. Yeah. If you don't like it, you'll probably be on with Georgie because she doesn't like many drinks. I, I don't like Campari. It's not my fault. <laughs> bye bye. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time.